Today we get a sneak peek of the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra. Samsung has just announced the new Galaxy Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra with a whole range of products like the matchy matchy Galaxy Buds Live. The new Galaxy Buds Live comes with active noise cancelling features to stylishly pair with your new Note 20 in bronze. It also introduced the new Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 and S7 Plus for tablet users. And most stunning of all, the super premium Galaxy Z Fold 2. Its aesthetic has improved so much that now the front screen is actually full and flat. And now there's no more camera etched to the foldable screen. Oh my god, oh my god, so pretty, right? And I really want it. Take my money. Wait, I don't have money. Anyway, let's get back to our main topic, the Galaxy Note 20 series. We were lucky enough to be invited by Samsung to view the new Note series prior to the launch. So here's our quick experience with the phone. Unlike the S20 series that was launched earlier this year, there's actually quite a fair bit of difference between the Note 20 and the Note 20 Ultra. So depending on what you want, one might be better for you. Anyway, we'll get to that in a bit. Now let's talk about the new upgrades and the new features in the Note 20 series that makes it the most powerful Galaxy Note smartphones being built by Samsung to date. For one, the S Pen. That's actually one of the main reasons for anyone to choose the Galaxy Note over any other smartphones in the market. The S Pen on the Note 20 now has 40% improvement in latency compared to the Note 10. And that means writing is actually smoother than ever. It's so natural that it feels like you're writing with a pen on a paper. Well, check out the latency test in this slow-mo video. To complement the smooth writing, you can now choose from a list of new note-taking templates that makes writing more efficient and also get creative with your color choices. And all these Samsung notes can now be automatically synced to your cloud storage, like the Samsung Cloud or the Microsoft OneDrive. So now you can pick up where you left off from your laptop or tablet without any additional file transfer in the process. For those who frequently attend seminars or lectures, you can now record the audio recordings with audio bookmarks attached to the notes that you are jotting. So if you tap on your notes, the audio playback would actually jump right to the timestamp where you make that written note to let you know what the speaker was saying at that moment in time. This is good personal high boy touching your face with your hands. Please sanitize your hands before and after using the devices. How convenient is that? I wish that when I was studying, there's actually something like that. It makes referencing and recaps of the meeting so much easier. La. And of course, now all your PDF documents, you can easily scribble notes and make highlights before you pass it on to someone else as feedback. If you have the tendency of writing diagonally and you would like to straighten your text, Samsung did come up with a new feature where it will adjust and straighten your diagonal text. But then again, I don't really find that useful. It doesn't really seem to work for all scenarios and it seems to me that the text is actually harder to read after the straightening. What do you think? Is that a yeah or a nay? Samsung added new air gestures for you to navigate the phone with the S Pen without touching the phone. All you need is a simple flick of your wrist and you can go to the home screen, have a screen grab, go to the recent apps. So easy. Now let's move on to the camera. Instead of having a quad camera system like the S20 series, the Note 20 actually comes with triple camera system on both the Note 20 and the Note 20 Ultra. The main difference will be that the Note 20 Ultra will come with laser autofocus sensor for a more accurate focusing when using the camera. The Ultra will come with 12 megapixel ultra wide angle camera, 108 megapixel wide angle camera and a 12 megapixel telephoto camera with 5 times optical zoom and 50 times super resolution zoom. The Note 20 will have a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, 12 megapixel wide angle camera which uses a smaller sensor compared to the ultra. 
and a 64 megapixel telephoto camera with three times hybrid optical zoom and 30 times super resolution zoom. Even without direct comparison, I do feel that the zooming feature on the Note 20 Ultra has greatly improved in terms of stability and maybe even resolution. This I can only verify when I have the review needs later on. Like the Note 10, Note 20 is also focused on the cinematic features. So the Note 20 series can now take up to 8K 24 frames per second videos and with improved Pro Video Mode that you can even have directional audio adjustments to focus on the audio you need the most. You can choose from the rear, front or omnidirection to get the best sound recording for your videos. With the new Galaxy Buds Live, you can even select the mic input from the earbuds to have a focus on the presenter's voice and drastically reduce the ambient sound in a crowded place. Pretty neat, yeah? For gamers, the phone also comes with up to 120Hz refresh rate on the dynamic AMOLED 2X display for buttery smooth visuals for your gameplay. Equipped with the latest 5G and Wi-Fi 6 connectivity, AI game boosters and the world's slimmest cooling chamber in a smartphone, the Note 20 is built for gamers too. If you're expecting the Qualcomm Snapdragon chipset, nope, we are not getting that. The Note 20 series will only be equipped with the Exynos 990 chipset by Samsung. Let's see if the benchmark test on the Exynos chipset can hold up to the Snapdragon. And remember, I said that Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra have some differences. The Note 20 actually comes with a flat screen display with Full HD resolution. So this flat display will be more suitable for new Samsung users who are not used to Samsung's signature curves display. And for gamers, the flat screen will be easier to hold and control when gaming too. The Note 20 Ultra will have a Quad HD curved display that most Note loyalists will adore and be familiar with, as well as the Ultra will also come with expandable micro SD card slot in the SIM card tray, while the Note 20 will not have any expandable memory. It will just only come with a dual SIM card tray. The Note 20 Ultra will come in three colors, black, white, and the bronze, of which the white and the black have glossy back chassis, which are fingerprint magnets. If you prefer less fingerprints, the bronze in matte finish will be the better choice here. For the Note 20, it will come with grey, green, bronze. I do like the green as it is actually more energetic when you compare it to the more adult and serious vibes from the rest of the colours. All the colours in the Note 20 are all matte finish, which is a plus point for me. The Note 20 Ultra will have 12GB of RAM, 256GB memory, and it will only be available in the 5G variant. The Note 20 will have 8GB of RAM, 256GB of memory, and it will come in both 4G and 5G variant, depending on your preference. So which one will you choose? The Note 20 or the Note 20 Ultra? Hope you like this sneak peek of the Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra. And if you like our videos, remember to give us a thumbs up and share this video as well. So we'll see you next episode. Bye!